This one is the one everybody has been waiting for. CATL has officially revealed the details for their new sodium ion battery, and while there's been plenty of clickbait headlines floating around, now it's not 90% cheaper. It's, it's still absolutely massive news, though, because this battery could easily mark the beginning of the end for lithium ion phosphate batteries, LFP chemistry batteries, as we know it. Hello folks, my name is Ben Alexander. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate your time. Let's jump straight into what uh, what the news really is and what it isn't and why this new CATL sodium battery genuinely matters. Also, these are the channel members. Thank you so much to these people for supporting me and helping me make my videos. I really appreciate that. Also, I have this little little Zika 7X toy car, if anybody wants it. A little tiny thing. I got it from South Australia when I went to the... Uh, the like a, I, I, I drove them around a track, basically, and drove them around. If anybody wants it, if anyone's really that geeky, I'll send it anywhere in the world. world. So first, the truth about the price. This is something we just need to set straight. CATL says their Nextra sodium ion battery currently costs around $19 US dollars per kilowatt hour at the cell level. Compare that to today's lithium ion phosphate cells, which are, you know, LFP chemistry, roughly $55 to $60 per kilowatt hour uh, when bought in very large quantities. So it's not a 90% drop in, 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 in price, it's about 65% cheaper right now. So it's a lot cheaper, obviously. And CATL believes it could fall even further, potentially down to maybe even $10 per kilowatt hour in the next few years. That's not marketing speak or PR speak. That's, that's what they really, really do think. That's coming directly from the world's largest battery manufacturer, the same company who quietly powers Tesla, BMW, and dozens of other uh, automakers worldwide. Here is the thing, though. The price isn't even the main story. That's just one of the big things, obviously. But that it pales in comparison to the, the real benefits of the battery. So the real story is what this battery can do and how it uh, how long it can last and how it kind of has overcome some of the bigger, bigger issues that LFP batteries faced over the last few years. CATL says the Nextra battery can deliver up to 3.6 million miles of driving or 5.8 million kilometers while still retaining 85% of its original capacity. So many, many times more than LFP chemistry. So that's the first one. That's three to six times longer than even the very best LFP packs on the market today. We've never seen anything close to this kind of lifespan in a mass producible chemistry. So to put that into perspective, if you bought an EV with this pack, that car would wear out long before the battery would, uh, many times over. And even when that happens, those same cells could easily live on as home storage or grid storage for decades. So let's talk about energy density, because this is where sodium used to struggle, really. A year or two ago, sodium ion batteries were sitting at 120 to 140 watt hours per kilogram, which made them too heavy for most EVs. But the, the new CATL Nextra pack has hit 175 watt hours per kilogram, which actually puts it above BYD's current blade battery. That means sodium is now matching lithium uh, ion in usable range while being safer, cheaper, and far longer lasting. So let's recap what this means. 3.6 million mile lifespan, uh, more energy dense, 170 watt hour per kilogram, uh, versus uh, 164, the blade battery, for example, from BYD. You can operate it successfully from minus 40 with almost no real issues. And uh, you can charge it at normal speeds too, at minus 40 to plus 70 degrees Celsius, roughly 50% cheaper, very roughly, uh, than lithium ion packs and a chemistry that uses materials we already have in abundance, sodium, because it's kind of all around us, and also aluminium and carbon. So this battery isn't just an upgrade, it's a redefinition of what an EV battery can be. And it's not just uh, cars that will benefit. It will be many other things. CATL says these packs are also being targeted for renewable energy storage, solar farms, grid balancing, uh, microgrids, because when a battery lasts three times longer and costs half as much, it completely changes the economics of energy. Think about that. Solar is already the cheapest form of energy generation in the world. Pair it with sodium ion storage, that's very affordable and maintenance free, and it becomes 
uh, unstoppable until something else can trump it. Coal, gas, and even nuclear, they all start to look sort of obsolete next to it. That's how big of a deal this is. Now, there is also another important part to this story, and it's the hybrid system CATL quietly announced alongside Nextra. They've developed a pack called Frivoid, which blends sodium ion and lithium ion cells in the same system. The idea is simple. Sodium provides low-cost, stable power and long life, while lithium offers higher energy density where it's needed most. So it's a kind of clever way to transition the industry while keeping flexible for automakers who want both. That hybrid approach is what's allowing CATL to use existing LFP production lines for sodium ion cells, meaning that they don't have to rebuild an entire factory because that's obviously one of the big costs in this, this whole process. It costs billions of dollars. They can convert current plants to produce sodium batteries with only minor changes, and that means scale and pretty much straight away within months and very, very fast. Now, I know some of you might be wondering when these prices will actually reach consumers, and that's fair enough, I think. At the moment, those $19 per kilowatt hour figures are at the cell level, not the full battery pack. Once you add uh, casings, cooling and electronics, you're probably looking at 40 to 45 kilowatt hours, dollars per kilowatt hours at the pack level. So still far cheaper than anything on sale today. CATL has not given any exact uh, timeline for when the $10 target might be hit. But I, re I reckon realistically, maybe two or three years away. Even so, it's already a huge leap forward. And here's what is wild. These sodium cells can be built on the same lines as LFP batteries. So that's, that's incredibly beneficial for everybody, really, all parties involved. Meaning any factory currently making lithium ion phosphate could pivot to sodium with minimal retooling and cost. That's how quickly this can scale. So that's why I think in the next year or two, any investors should reconsider what what you you know why why would you, you would be investing in LFP chemistry? If you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, this is all about you know more than just electric cars. This is about energy independence because once batteries are cheap, once they're once they're cheap, once they're safe, once they're uh, built from uh, materials found almost everywhere on the planet, there's no longer any reason for countries to depend on fossil fuels or imported lithium and to be hindered by political instability. So sodium batteries can be made low locally with local markets and last decades. So let's put it simply, CATL's new Nextra battery costs about half as much as lithium, lasts five times longer, performs better in basically every climate other than on the sun. And that's why every battery manufacturer from BYD to LG to Panasonic is probably watching this incredibly closely. This doesn't affect just EVs. This affects the entire global energy landscape for all the different things that we, we want uh, batteries for, like grid storage, solar farms, uh, household batteries. Everything changes when the battery that you're using can last half a century and it costs a hell of a lot less more money. Less money, sorry. So yeah, th this might be one of the moments that we look back on and say that was when lithium's dominance started to fade. What do you think? This is a really big, you know, very important topic. Will sodium replace lithium completely? Yes or no? What do you think about this? Or will they coexist for a while? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. You're very welcome to subscribe. I really appreciate that.